Now, Easter time and chocolate go hand in hand, and I'm sure lots of people out there have been munching their way through their particular favourite chocolate treats over the weekend. No problem for the majority, but what happens if you're addicted to the brown gold? Alan Kerwin's a hypnotherapist who delivers a healing aid called Emotional Freedom Technique that deals with a range of human conditions, including addif- addictive cravings. Alan, you're welcome to the late lunch. I'm bloody starving. Thank you, Jerry, for having me here. <laughs> I, I did what you said. I had nothing to eat since early mm. morning today. I have my chocolate here. But before we go into this uh, little experiment, what is uh, ex- emotional freedom technique? What is it? M- emotional freedom technique is where the mind and body combined, you can work with and make changes. Now, it, it's connected to acupuncture, but without the needles. It's called an emotional form of acupuncture. So we tap on energy meridians which are acupuncture points in the body and begin to make changes like everyone knows who feels anxiety or fear or anything like that that it's a feeling in the body and if that feeling is isn't in the body then there's no fear so by working on this and working on the complexities of what might be connected to this with the mind that you, we can reduce or eliminate that fear, making huge changes for people. So I mentioned the addictive nature of somebody who would eat chocolate. Mm. What else can it uh, help with in terms of human conditions? Well, we're talking about cravings here. So okay. like the cravings and the reason why chocolate, chocolate is just because of the odour kind of stimulates the juices in your mouth. And I know you're doing, you're already, you're very hungry here today <laughs> already. But for the likes of crisps, and that's another thing where people would eat, or wine, wine is one of the things that has worked with very well as well because of the odour involved in that, because people, the, the sense of the wine. Now, it would be beneficial for people. Now, people might say, oh, well, it will help me give up drinking, but there would be anxiety driving why someone might drink. So you'd have to work on the anxiety behind that. But if someone was just had drank a little bit too much wine yeah, and he decided to want to cut down or eliminate it, what does happen with this, and I worked recently in the Acorn Centre in Wellington Quay there with about 32 people. And I would say 30 of them dumped the chocolate in the bin. And I have heard back that some people haven't even went back on chocolate since. So you're given a choice. That, like for someone who, let's say someone who's uh, become a diabetic all of a sudden and they have this difficulty of giving up something like this. There was a huge craving. Yeah. And the doctor saying, you can't eat, that's going to kill you. So it may be of benefit to them to do something. Somebody like, like that. Now, definitely. the way it works is, you said, on it's the same type of points that they use with acupuncture, mm-hmm. but no needles involved. No needles yet. involved. So, right, I have not eaten mm-hmm. anything from, mm-hmm. from this. What do you want me to do now? I well, have here this famous bar with nuts in it. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. called the Snickers. We okay. might as well say. Anyway, I'm going to open the bar here. What do you want me to do? Well, we're working on the chocolate part of okay. this now. I'm going to yes. be asking you to say certain things and tap on certain points, and I'm going to I'm going to go along with you to show you exactly what we're doing. Okay. And I know you have glasses on. You're going to have to take the glasses That's no off. That's no problem. Be in the way. No, and you'll probably have to take the headphones off because well, it might just be a little okay. bit awkward for you. Okay. We'll see how we go. Anyway. Okay. Do you okay. want me to do anything with this well, bar? What I first want you now. to do first is I want you to take a smell of the bar. Okay. And on a scale of 0 to 10, whatever number pops to mind, now I'm not looking for conscious answer, because I'm hungry it's a 10, whatever number kind of pops into your mind, just go with that number. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know it. Do you want me to tell you the number? number. It's an 8 anyway. Perfect. That's because we're working with unconscious processes, Mm. whereas people, a conscious answer is kind of, mmm, no, it's 10. Oh, that smells majestic. Okay, so you you have an 8. I have an 8, yeah. So what I'm going to ask you to do, and people can't see this, but they can go to my website, if you mentioned at the end, and see a EFT uh, YouTube videos that you can watch and see how this works. is done. Okay. okay, so if you tap on the side of your hand, we call this karate chop point. There. Just here, no, here, no, there. on the soft part. Yeah, I'm the tapping fleshy on the part. Yeah. So tap on that, and you have to say these words after me. Okay. Just kind of dis. Don't have any disbelief about this. Just okay. kind of go along yeah. with yeah, it. Yeah, I will. And say, even though, even though, I have an eight. I have an eight. Of this chocolate craving. Of this chocolate craving. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. And one more time. Even though. Even though. I have an eight. I have an eight. Of this chocolate craving. Of this chocolate craving. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Now, third time's a charm, so we have to do this three times. So, even though. Even though. I have an eight. I have an eight. Of this chocolate craving. Of this chocolate craving. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Now, we're going to tap on a point called the eyebrow point, but it's at the edge of your eyebrow. Exactly. There? You're just following me there. Yeah. Now, use two fingers there, index two. finger, forefinger, and just say, this eight of chocolate craving. This eight of chocolate craving. And on the side of your eye, on the bone, this on eight. This of, side? Yeah. This eight of chocolate craving. This eight of chocolate craving. Under your eye, on the bone. 
This eight of chocolate craving. This eight of chocolate craving. Under your nose, this eight of chocolate craving. This eight of chocolate craving. And in between the, the bottom lip and the top lip, yeah. in there, yeah. this eight of chocolate craving. This eight of chocolate craving. And the collarbone point sounds like the collarbone, but it's actually if you come down your neck, you come to a V. Yeah. You kind of, the, the, where the bone yes, moves off. I have it It's this point. One. Just two fingers there, just tap two. Them. Yeah. Say this eight of chocolate craving. This eight of chocolate craving. And now the silly one under the arm where a brass. Or a woman's yeah. A brass <laughs> This eight of chocolate cream. This eight of chocolate cream. I know it seems silly. And on the top of your head. Yeah, I'm going to move the head. Just move me a little bit. Yeah. This eight of chocolate cream. This eight of chocolate cream. Take a deep breath in. And release that now. Very good. Now, what I'd like you to do is smell the chocolate and thus just notice if there's any changes. It's far less. It's far less. What does it tell the, view, the, the listeners what, that's, what it smells like? Does it smell more inviting or. Less inviting. It actually smells a little bit less. It, it does smell. I can't get the... The same, okay. No, so we're just it's, it's definitely different. Mm -hmm. I can't... It's definitely different. And and you're starving. I am hungry. Is it, is it as appealing as it was? No. Okay, so we're going to do one more time. Go definitely, and, I, and I'm, I'm being absolutely honest here. Well, I'm, ama I'm amazed. That I'm, mm. That's incredible. Yeah. When I work with people, when I'm working because I'd be working on emotional issues, I can't see How did you do that? Well, you did that. I'm just, I'm just a guide here. I'm always the guide. I ain't joking. I mean, absolutely, one hundred percent. This is no. I'm not. I'm not joking. I'm not uh -huh. clicking around it. I'm not trying to. Oh, yeah. say, I mean, if I if it if I came back and it was, I would tell you straight up, Alan. Well, if but there's some change. There's something yeah. after happening. If it became more difficult, if I was working with someone because I work with difficult issues, we get a little deeper involved. But with the chocolate, just it works so well with this. Okay, so we can we can work on the processes. But what happened? Mind. What ha what did what happened there for me? What when we tap on these energy meridians? So let's say for example we're working with someone with a difficulty an emotional problem that what happens is that the, the energy in the body starts to balance out and it goes back to like a, a state of you know you've eaten chocolate before but you've never eaten chocolate before and I've done this with myself and you smell something and you, I'm not going to say I'm going to let you say okay your experience rather than me put words all in right, of what right. happens. What do you okay? want to do now? Do you want so to do we're going to go around this again and what I, what I want you to do is I want you to smell the chocolate one more time. Again now? Okay just smell it. Okay. Yeah. And zero to ten, what number of craving comes to mind? God, I have to say it's dropped way off. So what number pops Four, in? maybe, Four. and okay. that's it's dropping. So we're going to go on this one again. So even though, just tap on the... Same cluster. again. Same with, again. With one finger or two? Two fingers. Two yeah. fingers. Okay, so even though... Even though I have this four... I have this four. Remaining. Remaining. Of craving. Of craving. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this four remaining. Even though I have this four remaining. Of craving. Of craving. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. And one myself. more time, even though I have this four of craving remaining. Even though I have this four of craving remaining. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. And the eyebrow, by, uh, eyebrow point again. Yeah. This uh, remaining four. This remaining four. Side of your eye, this remaining four. This remaining four. Under the eye, this remaining four. This remaining four. Under the nose, this remaining four. This remaining four. Chin point, this remaining four. This remaining four. Collarbone point, this remaining four. This remaining four. Under the arm, this remaining four. This remaining four. Top of the head, this remaining four. And I move them again. Yeah, yeah. This, this remaining, remaining four. four. Take a deep breath in. And release that now. And as listeners are hearing, hearing us go through this process, the, the good thing about this is that this could be done over the radio, over the phone, once people understand where the points are and the issue we're working on. So it doesn't even have to be face-to-face. -face. So it has lots of potential. This, uh, yeah. it's only, it was only ca created around uh, um, the uh, 1990s. So if we have time, I can give you a quick overview of that. But just, I want you to smell the chocolate now again. Zero to ten. What number pops to mind? <laughs> this is this is wacky. I can't okay. understand this. Okay, that's even virtually. I'm I'm getting very little mm. sensation. You know, what I want you to do now, no, and I'm honest. I'm mm -hmm. 